HookahPro.com, your ultimate source for everything hookah. Find the latest tips and tricks, videos, reviews, contests, and more. Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is RiderDie81 from HookahPro.com, and I am bringing you guys another shisha review for the Sahara Smoke contest going on right now at HookahPro.com. Uh, and for right now, I have Hookah Hookah Evolution uh, T Shisha, and it is spearmint. And uh, I just gotta say, this jar looks awesome. Like the black on blue, I don't know, it just it looks cool. Anyway, the tobacco. Um, or sorry, the tea. It's not tobacco, it's tea. Um, I was actually very excited to get this one because I am a huge, huge fan of mint flavors. I've tried a ton of mint shishas. I mean, AF mint, Nakla mint, Nakla miso mint, uh, the regular hookah hookah spearmint, um, the other hookah hookah mint, I forget what it's called, uh, Evolution mint, um, Starbuzz winter fresh, AF gum, uh, which is like spearmint, nakla, miso gum, which is another uh, minty flavor. And I've tried like a ton of mint flavors. I love mint. And I even have my dedicated mint hose here, okay? Like, I love mint flavor. So I was really excited to get this one. Um, so I'll start out with the, uh, the, uh, tea here. The, it's really interesting cut, as I've said it on the other tea reviews here. Um, the cut, it, it's, it's really, it's more of like a big leafy cut as opposed to the uh, finely shredded cut that they usually use for hookah hookah. Um, uh, you can really, you know, it, you can really see through the leaves. If you pull one out and hold it, you can see, like, the veins and everything. It's, like, a much thinner of a leaf, too. Um, not sure. You know, it, it, it's probably just a tobacco leaf versus tea leaf. It's just the difference in it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it, it's different, but it's it doesn't make a big difference when you're packing it, really. Uh, so, you know, it's whatever, you know, how they wanted to cut it, it's how they did it, so, it's all fine by me, I mean, it doesn't make a huge difference, if for some reason you don't like big pieces of tobacco, I, then you're fine, because this isn't tobacco, um, anyway, I actually have my hookah hookah spearmint here, uh, to compare the smell, and all that good stuff, mostly just the smell, uh, I won't be smoking the spearmint tonight. Uh, I do have a review up on it though. Check out my channel on YouTube, uh, which would be like right up there if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, check it out. Uh, check out the review for Hookah Hookah Spearmint. Um, anyway, the smell comparison here. Uh, it smells really good. It smells like, actually it smells like toothpaste. Like a really minty toothpaste. Yeah. Now this one is a really, it's a lot lighter of a mint. The hookah hookah mint, I don't know if like this is a bad batch where there wasn't as much like of the juice in it or something like that. Also, uh, like I mentioned in the review on this one, on the hookah hookah spearmint, it really wasn't that strong of a flavor. Um, it really wasn't. It, there's not too much juice in that container either. Now, the evolution spearmint, this is just a strong, it's a, it's a really strong mint flavor right now. It's a really good strong mint. Um. It's also a lot juicier than the hookah hookah spearmint was. It's it definitely when I was loading up the bowl, I noticed there's a ton more juice in there. Um, you know, stronger flavor, a lot more juice. Hopefully, you get a nice strong flavor from it because the hookah hookah spearmint really wasn't that strong, and I love really strong mint flavors, so wasn't super impressed with it. Uh, however, it does make a great mixer. So um, I have my vortex bowl, three starlight gnats, uh, wind cover, and of course my mint hose. Um, on my small Egyptian hookah here. Uh, we'll see how it smokes. Damn. That was the first hit. That was a nice size cloud right there.
some nice, nice clouds right now. That's some big clouds. Those are my first few hits right there. Uh, first few pulls off the hookah. Um, nice, nice clouds from that. Um, really impressed with that. The flavor, it's definitely a stronger mint. Definitely a lot stronger than the uh, hookah hookah spearmint. Uh, it's not quite as like strong as like the Nakla Miso mint, say. I mean, that's just like a super, that's like the strongest mint out there, basically. Um, not as strong as that, but it's like if, if you're not so huge on mint flavors, like, and it, also this is spearmint. It's not actual like mint mint, it's, it's spearmint, so, you know, there's a difference there. Um, it, it's really good, though. It's not overpowering, and it's not really soft. It's like a good amount of mint if, you know, if you just want to smoke mint every once in a while. I'm not a huge fan of it like I am. Definitely good for something like that, but yeah, damn it, it is good though. I gotta say, um, I, I was not expecting that much from it, uh, especially because the hookah hookah spearmint wasn't as strong. Um, I was picking up a little bit of the tea flavor in there though. Let me take a few more pulls. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely picking up a little bit of the tea, the tea leaf in there. I want to say that's what that is. Um, maybe I have a bit too much heat on it right now, but it's not burning, so I don't know about that. I'm just picking up a really subtle flavor that I've never like tasted before. I'm guessing it is a tea leaf, and I'm guessing it's because spearmint's really not that strong of a flavor. You know, it's a mint, so mints are usually like a lighter. You know, it's not a really pronounced flavor. Uh, it's not really the word for it. Uh, you know, it's not like a, I'm trying to think of a good example, you know, it's not like, uh, say, uh, like raspberry, Ra where raspberry is just going to be like a right out there, right in your face flavor, you know, mints are always usually more of like a black, uh, sorry, a background flavor, so, I'm guessing that's why there is that, like, that little, uh, tea leaf flavor in there, it's, I mean, it's not bad in any way, I mean, it's just, it's just a really light aftertaste, I mean, it's like nothing really, um, I definitely do like this flavor. Uh, I would definitely pick up more of this, you know, if you have a friend that doesn't smoke tobacco but will smoke tea. Uh, I really do like this. Um, I'm going to give it a rating of, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I really, it really did surprise me with the strength of the mint in there, especially after the hookah hookah spearmint, which wasn't as strong. Um, definitely a really good amount of mint in there. Um, so yeah, nine out of ten uh, on a rating. Again, this has been Hookah Hookah Evolution Spearmint, which is tea shusha. Used with tea leaves, uses tea leaves, not tobacco. And this has been Rider Die eighty one from HookahPro.com, uh, bringing you guys this review for the Sahara Smoke contest going on right now at Hookah Pro. Uh, I'd like to thank the SaharaSmoke.com for the awesome contest and HookahPro.com for putting on the contest. And uh, definitely check out the rest of my videos. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. That would be awesome. Uh, and uh, I will see you guys in the forums on Hookah Pro. See you later.